Vinny Zesifa is back on the line. Hello, Coach. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, my brother. Well, it's been a very difficult time uh, for um, African uh, Ghanaian clubs whenever they go to Africa. But this is the maiden appearance of the two sides when it comes to the respective uh, competitions. They both fell to losses to some of the African giants. How would you assess the performance? And does this uh, put any fear? Should this put any fear in us of uh, these clubs not being able to progress to the next stage? Well, let me say good morning to your listeners. Well, I wouldn't say so because if um, the defending champions Ali can beat you 3 0 in Egypt, that shouldn't, I don't think it's the end of the, uh, the road because that is the, 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 the one who says is their best right. Because uh, look at the quality of Ali, look at the money invested in Ali, and look at the individual quality that they have. I mean, of course, one of the last time a club from Ghana participated in the Champions League group stage. So for us, I think that. It is a step, but it is, was a difficult game for Mediema. But I think that they did well, especially in the first 45 minutes, when they were able to hold on their four. They defended very well, cleared the lines very well. But I don't know what happened for the changes the coach made. I'm mean, talking about picking up young Vital Milford, and of course, um, um, Lomote, and of course, uh, uh, Ajimai. I don't know why those things were made, but at the end of the day, probably he also wanted to go and probably get a goal to surprise Ali. Looking at the goals that they, they conceded, these are the goals that they could have prevented. I mean, look at the three header, look at the one um, Felix team made that brilliant save for the defender to just run close to the pole, allow the ball, the second ball to enter the net. So it was a difficult task. It's as much that most of them are very young, their first time in Africa. I think that apart from um, Jonathan Sua, Fatahu, and the Nuru Dean, who have been invited to the blast pass, I think, I mean, also, he had, he had a stake of the blast stars game against Comoros. So for me, I think that it is, it is something that they need to build upon. I mean, it is a difficult game. Previous years, Ghanaian class have struggled to be the head of Africans. And of course, it is a difficult task for Midiama and, 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 and Jim Selfie. For Midiama, yes. In history, they've been in Africa, especially in the Confederation. They've played the likes of Sandown, City, Mazembe, uh, in, 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 in a Sipon. And of course, they've done very well because of the nature of quality that they had at that time. It's been, it's been long since our football went to dead and now it has come back. Now that before the league is trying to build momentum. I mean, the Ghana champions, it's not easy. I mean, look at Yanga. Look at the quality of Yanga. Look at the money that has been pumped into Yanga. They also lost to this North African. And for me, it is, it's a difficult thing that I think the clubs need to work upon. I mean, Medema is coming back home to play the, 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 the second game in the Baba Yara Sports Club. Unfortunately for them, they have two straight home games at the Baba Yara Sports Club. Yeah. And if they put their house in order, they should be able to pick the first point that will push them probably uh, to the second spot or something. So I believe that it was a difficult one. But to face Ali in Egypt and losing, and for me, I don't think this is news. But for Dream Sense, this is their first time ever in Africa, be it in the Confederation or whatever competition. But this is their first time. But they have a serious coach in the person of Karim Jitu. I mean, he yeah. has won the U20. Uh, Wafo and Africa and all that. So he has got a experience. Look at his captain for the side. Jalilu Abdul has played for Dream Sensei for the past five years. You have the likes of um, John Entry, he was in Egypt, he knows how the North Africans play. And looking at the likes of the young players like Yishma the day for the U20, um, Sylvester Simba, Janine Boatin, these are guys that have played in the local blaster. So I thought that in terms of um, international exposure, they've, they've, they've gotten it. But hey, it is difficult to play these North Africans over there. It is a tough, tough, tough order. And surprisingly, Mediama had their goals in the second half. Jews had their goals in the first half. Yeah. So I'm sure both teams coming home to prepare and make sure that they put this game behind them and try, probably get the videos of them, their next opponent and, 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 and strategize very well for that game at the Baba Yaya Sports Stadium. All right, thank you so much, Coach Ebenezer Sifa, for your uh, technical thoughts this morning. So that is Coach Ebenezer Sifa, Ghana's chief scout and also a technical person when it comes to coaching. Now, uh, Dream FC will be playing against Rivers United of Nigeria on Sunday at the Barbara Sports Stadium as Mediama Essi will play against CR Bellis Dad on Friday, the 1st of December. Now, let's move on to the Ghana Premier League. And uh, yesterday, Hatsofok settled for a 1-0 against Brecum. Chelsea Summertex defeated Archie two goals to one. 
Adriana lost at home one goal to nail to Accra Lions Football Club and in Swatchama settled for a goalless draw against Heart of Lions. Let's have a quick listen to House of Folk's interim head coach Tijani Ahmed. It was so sad to drop a point here again, but I will congratulate my boys for for they really fought and come back very well. But it's rather unfortunate. That wasn't the plan. But it's good. We have some decent chances. Even uh, they, you know, they were better in the first half, but we took the show in the second half. We have some decent chances to to even lead the game. But sometimes that's how football is. Well, that is uh, Tijani Abdul Aziz Bashir of Heart to Folk. Now, Christopher Enin, who is the head coach of Brickham Chelsea after the draw. Well, thank you very much. It's quite a tough game, but uh, getting a point with us of folk at home, it's it, it, away, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine better than me. And I really appreciate my boys for such a good game. Yes, in doing it at training ground, we always, like I said, I always approach every game with different strategies. So it's something that we work on it. So I was not surprised that the, the, the team was uh, compact in defense. So that is from Christopher Enning of Brickham Chelsea. Now on Saturday, Nations FC defeated Karela United by one goal to nil at the Dr. Kwame Chase Sports Complex. And Asante Kotoko, on the other hand, rose from a goal down to defeat Legon City's 3-1 at the Wafa Park in Sugakopi. David Oklu sat on the bench in the absence of Dr. Prosper Nate Ogum, who was away due to an engagement in a calf coaching course. His worst after the club's second consecutive win. Yeah, it was a difficult goal to take. But I told the boys, this is nothing. We just have to get going. We just have to get going. And they did that. And doing research to, uh, I will dedicate this win to our boss, Doctor. He's been a marvelous boss so far. I really, I really. Uh, you could see that Legon cities always attack with their fullbacks. The fullbacks go high. So during research, we just re-strategize that. No, we have to hit them there. And if you can see our goals, it was all from the flanks, so that is it. Well, David Dexon Oklu there now a frustrated Parkway if Eben after the game doesn't know what to do to his team to get the right results. I gave the specific instructions in the second half. They came and they were doing different things. And then when you are playing against a team like Kotoko who have more experience, uh, they will, you get punished and we got punished. Uh, what, what, can I, what can I say? Well, uh, but maybe inexperience uh, because uh, if you are leading 1-0 and you come in the second half, you need to slow game the, slow the game down. And that's exactly what I told them. That look, let's hold the ball, let's play, let's 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 slow it down because. Come, will come all guns blazing in the second half so let's hold the ball and, and hold it and play but uh, I don't know it may be the experience or whatever I don't know I can't tell well Parkway Fabian then now away from the Ghana Premier League Manchester United in England wraps out into Everton's wounds as Alejandro Hanacho standing over cake helped the real uh, the Red Devils to a 3-0 victory while other goals came from Marcus Rashford's penalty and Anthony Marshall's 75th minute strike ensuring Eric Ten Hag who was off the bench had another victory 5-1 wins in the last league at uh, the last six league games for manchester united their head coach eric ten Hag. in my form place hey they have a lot of qualities um and so if they use each other if they use the team uh, we'll be creating many chances we are the fifth in the rank in the premier league so yeah if they have the confidence yeah it will come um so yeah today all three players all three sc- scores were from players so i'm happy with that and uh, they have to take this into the next game uh, they-, they have to take this into the next game now only watkins helped aston villa to defeat their tournament was by two goals to one on a day that they were having the tribute to former boss terry venables giovanni lutel also got the opener before Pauthoris got the equalizer and watkins got the final goal with just a uh, minute to end the game his 12th goal of the season now uh and postecoglou tournament boss uh, has uh, uh couldn't point to the number of injuries that have robbed him of several key moments especially james madison missing from yesterday's game yeah, look, I think um, you know, performance-wise, can't ask any more lines. I thought we played some outstanding football, created enough chances to, to win the game quite comfortably, really. But, um, you know, um, fine margins in the games. But um, disappointed, disappointed for the fans, disappointed for our players. More importantly, because I thought we deserved more from the game. Well, they deserve more from the game, according to him. But Oli Watkins had other ideas. He believes that they are moving up and they want to continue until they get a Champions League sport.
I was prepared for it. Obviously, we always play a high line. Um, I'm catching players offside all the time, uh, but it's very hard to play against. You know, you've got to check your run, um, and it's the first time I've played against a line as maybe as high as ours. So um, it was really difficult, and I can see why we catch a lot of players offside. But um, you know, for me personally, to have the grass to run in front of me is uh, is what I want. And um, yeah, I had a few opportunities today where I could do. Only Watkins, he can do better. You look at the Premier League table. Arsenal lead the pack, 30 points. Manchester City have 29. Liverpool have 28. Aston Villa with 28. Tottenham must best sit uh, fifth on the log with Newcastle United sitting sixth on the Premier League table after defeating Chelsea four goals to one over the weekend. Now, former England manager Terry Venables has died at the age of 80 after a long illness. Venables managed England from 1994 to 1996, most notably leading them to the semi-finals of the Euro 96 on home soil. A former England player who also managed Barcelona and Tottenham as a player. He won two England caps and made more than 500 club appearances between 1960 and 1975. May he so rest in peace. He played largely for Chelsea and Queen's Park Rangers as well as Tottenham was spent out to the Spanish La Liga. Real Madrid ensured a 3-0 victory as Jude Bellingham scored his 13th goal of the season. Rodrigo with a brace sending them to two, uh, putting them two points uh, ahead of Girona uh, back on the Spanish La Liga table. But Barcelona set off for a 1-0 try against Rayo Vallecano. Javi, who is the head coach for the team, wasn't a pleased man after the game. It was a different part the first half than the second half, so we didn't play well in the first half. Uh, we were not uh, aggressive uh, in the second half, yes. Uh, we changed the mentality, the aggressivity. Uh, we create enough chances to win the, uh, the game, but, uh, you know, here it's always uh, difficult, no? especially if uh, we concede a, a goal almost in the last part in, uh, from the uh, first half. So uh, happy for the performance of the second half, not happy and not enough for the first one. So Xavi, they're not happy, but as always, Sergio Ramos well put in his name on the papers. He was sent off for the 29th time in his career as Sevilla lost two goals to one at Real Sociedad. The ex-Real Madrid and Spain defender was dismissed for a sliding tackle on Brace Mendes in the 88th minute. Sunday's dismissal extends the 37-year-old's record for most red cars in La Liga history to 21, while well, Jesus Navas, who is 38, was also sent off for making complaints against the decision. While well, Ramos has been sent off more times in the 21st century than any other player ahead of Rafael Marquez, uh, 21 times, and Philip Melo, 20 times. Well, Sergio Ramos, he will continue to remain Sergio Ramos. Now to the Italian Serie A, Lautaro Martinez ensured that Inter Milan kept hold of their two-point lead at the top of the Serie A as he struck in Sunday's crappy one or draw at closest rivals Juventus. Well, the first goal for Juventus was scored by Vlahovic, who broke a two-month goal-scoring duck with a similar first-time finish at the Allianz Stadium in Turin. Now, in the other side, Paolo Dybala felt the need to silence the haters after helping to fire Roma fifth with the decisive goal in a 3-1 win over struggling Udinese at the Stadio Olimpico. Romelu Lukaku and Stefan El Sharawi then completing the scoring in the final minute. Now, uh, to the French League, uh, and Nice once again kept an Eighth consecutive clean sheet in a one nil win over to lose in the French League. Well, uh, Paris thumbed Monaco 5 2 on Friday and have 30 points from 13 games, while Nice have 29 and Monaco with 24 sitting third. Goalkeeper Marcin Boca has not conceded a goal in League A for 723 minutes, more than eight games. Uh, well, more than eight games ago. So that is a very impressive record from him. And 12, uh, the Nice have yet to fall behind in their last 18 league matches. Uh, the stand breaking the record of 12 held since the 1984-85 season by Bodo. Incredible performance from them. Let's finish off with some tennis news and Janik Sinner followed up his heroics against Novak Djokovic by leading Italy to their first Davis Cup title for the first time in 47 years. Now, when Senna was staring at three match points on Saturday with Italy 1-0 down to Serbia, it appeared hugely improbable that he would be left in the trophy 24 hours later. But the world number four somehow recovered to defeat Djokovic, repeated the feat in doubles along with Lorenzo Sonego and then saw off Australia's Alex de Menor 6-3-6 love on Sunday to ensure a 2 nil victory. So, very impressive one there from Janik Senna and the Italian team winning the Davis Cup. That'll be all this morning for sports. My name is Kelvin Oswan and thanks to Mega 6, loads of 6 numbers can change your life. Just select from 49 numbers and you can win loads of exciting prizes up to 1 million Ghana cities. Play before 5 p.m. 
every Monday to Saturday and dial star 266 hash or download the iOS and Android apps on Mega6Loto.com to play. Mega6Loto is approved and regulated by the National Lotteries Authority.